Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh friends welcome back to my channel in this session we will discuss if you have a power supply switch mode power supply and it is fluctuating its output voltage are not stable what are that points which will be checked during this troubleshooting actually it is a question from one of my viewers he told me that uh, he have 48 volt power supply and its output is unregulated it is fluctuating between 20 volt to 45 volt what is the problem let's discuss here we have input ac line line voltage these voltage are feed to bridge rectifier and bridge rectifier will rectify and these voltage are stored in this capacitor If you come here after this network the voltage are reaching here at this capacitor this capacitor is used as a tank storage tank if it cannot store the charge properly it cannot replenish the required current so in that case the line voltage in the DC rail will drop and the power supply will go in off mode and it will start rebooting basically what is going on in this power supply which our friend told us that the power supply is switching but it cannot fulfill the requirement of the primary due to two reasons the first reason from input the second reason from output if this electrolyte capacitor is bad the power supply can fluctuate the second thing this power supply have a startup circuit it uses a VCC capacitor which is most of the ICs are using VCC capacitor which is used in the VCC pin VDD pin in 3842 434445 series the pin number 7 that is VCC pin the capacitor connected at VCC pin is called VCC capacitor that is here the small capacitor it is normally in 50 volt range this capacitor it is connected through a startup resistor if power supply cannot start at all at that time we need to check this resistor otherwise in this case because the power supply is starting up so no need to check this one we want to test these capacitors Here are two capacitors. Sometimes power supplies have one, sometimes have two capacitors. If this capacitor cannot store the charge properly, it cannot drive to IC in running mode. At that time, this IC can go in reboot mode. The IC is switching, but it cannot take the feedback that the output voltage are built up in the secondary side. So this, this is the second reason. Third reason. If anything is short circuit in the output side might be output side capacitor is bad what are that this is the output side after rectifier we have capacitor here if any capacitor is short circuit it will cause to leak internally so the current flow through this short circuit path this capacitor or this capacitor or any component in this area at that time the SMPS controller is utilizing maximum duty cycle at that time this short circuit is causing to drop the voltage it will not allow to build the voltage at specified voltage in our case 48 volts at that time this feedback net network cannot detect the voltage level at that time this feedback circuit will not give feedback so the IC will switch at its maximum duty cycle so in that condition when anything is wrong here in this portion the IC will fail to receive feedback because this feedback net network will not detect the voltage because if it is 48 volt when the voltage will reach at 48 volt at that time this TL431 or any zener diode which is used here as a reference most of the time in high voltage power supplies the zener is used maybe 48 volt 47 volt zener will used in series with this optocoupler so optocoupler will not receive 
the biasing voltage to create the IR light to operate the phototransistor for feedback. In that case, the IC will use its maximum duty cycle. So maximum current will flow in the primary. So maximum voltage will induce in the auxiliary winding. So in that case, the IC will receive voltage above than its UVLO upper limit that is called OLP overload protection. So when these voltage will increase then the IC's recommended threshold that is 16 volt. So in that case this IC will turn off. When it will turn off it will discontinue the switching. It will wait until the voltage will drop again less than 10 volt, 8 volt whatsoever. For each IC it has its specified voltage level. So under, under voltage UVLO lower limit to upper limit. This is the working window. If the voltage will exceed from this upper limit that is called OLP overload protection. If the voltage will drop below the UVLO threshold that is called under voltage lockout. In both cases the IC will shut down. Now our discussion is here. If this capacitor is not allowing the voltage to build up here it will fail to provide the feedback or if the Zener diode that is used in series with the optocoupler or any feedback network voltage divider network that is failed due to any failure any component failure that will also cause to make fluctuation if the optocoupler is bad in that case it will make fluctuation so optocoupler feedback network either it is TL431 either it is any Zener diode output filter capacitors VCC capacitor main DC capacitor then another point here is a current sensor resistor that is connected in series with the MOSFET that is here it is low value resistance sometime because it is high current component high power it dissipates power sometime its resistance increases in some cases its joints are dry soldered so dry soldered can cause increased resistance when the resistance will increase it will cause to give more voltage and I sense at that time the IC will shut down before reaching at its maximum we are allowed duty cycle so we have to remove the solder from this resistor that is connected with the source of the power MOSFET and resolder it again resolder the MOSFET check this capacitor VCC capacitor main capacitor so these are our checkpoints by checking these points I hope the problem will solve because most of the time the fluctuation is caused by these points. I hope so this video is informative. If it is informative hit the like button. If you have any question let me know in the comment box. Thanks for watching. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.